guys and welcome to another episode of Behind the Closed Doors. Today, well, we're sightseeing and we have a very special guy to show us around. And I believe he has something planned with a boat and something with helicopters, but hey, we'll see. So join us for today's episode of Behind the Closed Doors. If you like what we do, subscribe to the channel, leave comments below and of course smash that like button because we really like that. But most of all, press that bell so you get a notification when we upload something new. Here we go. Okay guys, we're back in the RV. Now you might wonder like, hey Frank, we didn't see anything yet. That's true. I'm gonna talk you through today's adventures because in all honesty, it wasn't really the perfect thing to film. Now, first off, we were picked up by Bjorn. He's local and an amazing guy, great photographer and filmer. And he said, you know what? A friend of mine called me and they have a rescue helicopter training session. Do you wanna go? Sure, of course, we love that. So we took his boat and we actually went out on the sea. And the problem was, it was really, really shaky. So we don't have a lot of material from this, but I'm gonna show you the images now and some of the material we got. And trust me, I forgot my sea legs at home. While I was shooting, no problem at all. As soon as I stopped shooting, I got a little bit nauseous. So hey, let's go, let's go to the sea. Like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet.
hope you like those shots. Now, one of the cool things about getting local people to show you around is actually they know all the great sites. So next up on our list was actually small houses that are built under a rock. Can you imagine that? They're like 300 years old and they're literally built under a rock. You know the cool thing? You don't need to worry about rain hitting your house. The other thing, I wouldn't want to live there because it was really small. So I'm going to show you some of the images that we took over there. And I highly, highly recommend you going there. It's an awesome place. It's very surrealistic. And this is also, by the way, where I used the Sony 12-24. to That's a really cool lens for that kind of stuff. The only problem is it's a little bit overcast. So there's not a lot of color in those images. So try to spice them a little bit up with some contrast and a little bit of a vintage look. I hope you like it. Isn't it just amazing those those houses under a rock? It's it's mind-boggling. So also, by the way, they were really, really small. You saw me at one point in the video, you saw that I, I almost hit my head. Well, hit my head, I couldn't even get under the door. So it was really, really tight. Now, after this, we went to a small fishing town to just shoot some buildings. And it was really, really nice. But there's one thing that really struck me. You see a lot of the salmon jumping out of the water. They actually, Bjorn told me, they do that because they have like parasites and they want to smack the parasites by jumping out of the water and hitting the water so they kill the parasites. And it was a really weird, well, weird sight. You see the salmon jumping up like almost a meter high and far and then smack down on the water again. It's almost impossible to shoot. I tried and I failed miserably. So let's go to the Fisher Town. Okay, and now I'm really back in the RV. We're done with everything. We would like to thank Bjorn so very, very much. He was a great host and we loved hearing all the stories and of course seeing all the sites. And that's the cool thing, guys. If you go somewhere, use social media, ask people if they want to show you around. Often the locals love to show you around and show you their area. And they know it way better, of course, than the tourist agency or yourself because you don't see the touristy shots. You actually also see the shots from a different angle and some hidden gems. Tomorrow we're going to leave for Stavanger and after that we'll see what happens. Thank you so very much for watching guys. If you like what we do, subscribe to our channel, like us and of course smash that like button. If you really want to support us, check out our Patreon. Thank you so very much for watching guys and see you again next time. <laughs> bye bye.